Guys, the goal of being a real estate agent is not to stay a real estate agent. All right, I have had over 500 discovery calls with 500 agents and it's always like, oh, I got in this business so I can go travel, so I can get the financial freedom to do this, so I can invest money and then go do that and provide for my family and go have freedom of financial freedom or like time freedom. The goal of real estate for you was probably never to just stay in real estate. Your goal was to use this as a financial vehicle to get you to where you want to be. And I'll hear agents be like, oh, I've been an agent for 30 years. And I'm like, what? Why? What went wrong? There's three outcomes, all right? You don't do enough so you quit. You do just enough to stay an agent forever or you produce more than what your living expenses are so you can invest it, gain a passive income so you can quit real estate. Those are really the only outcomes as a real estate agent you can in the future. Okay, yeah, Jose, so you're trying to gain leverage and this leverage either comes from scaling using ISAs scaling by growing a team, scaling by growing your revenue share, or investing your money so that your residuals pay for your life and you can go do whatever you wanted to do like you originally planned. Hey, Kevin, who here is trying to stay an agent forever? Who here is trying to open doors and cold call and door knock and open houses? Who's trying to do this forever? Nobody. So you, ha you really only have a few choices here. And I really want you to critically think what path are you on? Are you on track? Like how much extra money are you making a year to invest for freedom? I want you to really critically think, okay, last year, how much did I make? And was that just enough? Or was it, did I have excess? And was that excess enough for me to get out of this business? And, 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 and in how long would it take at this rate? If you don't have excess, you are fucked. If you don't have excess, you are either going to quit because you're not doing enough or just stay an agent forever. And you're going to be one of those agents that are like, I've been doing this for 30 years. And you say that as a flex, but it's really not a flex. That's a purgatory you don't want to be in. Why would you want to do this forever? Go travel. Go do what you want with your family. Go do what you want with your loved ones. Go start a foundation. Go pour your money into what you want to do. Go start the real passion project that you want to do. You want to go ride horses for a living? You want, to go, you want to go make video game music for a living? You want to go do that thing you always want to do for a living? Well, you better create some excess. And the only way to create excess, there's really only two things to do you can do to create excess. It's increase your conversion rate, or it's, it's, it's increase your lead generation. And you can do this by just lead generating all day or creating leverage, hiring agents to let, uh, generate for you, hiring ISAs to generate for you, pouring money into ads, to lead generate for you, recruiting agents into revenue share to generate for you. You need to lead generate at a mass scale, at a mass scale, you need to lead generate. It can't just be you on a dialer or you knocking on doors. It can't, that's, that's not, you're not scaled. You're not leveraged enough. It's only dependent on you. You need to scale your lead generation. And the second thing is you need to have a very high conversion rate. Okay, how likely are you to convince someone to work with you? How good are you at that? If you have 100 opportunities, if you have 10 opportunities in front of you, how many opportunities are you going to get signed and closed? How good are you at that? Not good? Are they on accident? Then you need to increase your conversion rate. And you need to be able to teach the people you are leveraging to close better too. And if, you, if you're having trouble with this, you're fucked. That's what I created the accelerator for. And if you don't believe me, if you don't believe conversion rate, go watch that video on my YouTube channel I have where I'm setting five appointments in one hour where, where five people answer their phones and I set an appointment with all of them. Increase your conversion rate. If you increase your conversion rate and you scale your lead generation, then you will make so much money. That's how you get excess to invest in the things that you want to do so you can obtain freedom and quit this. Okay, the, the goal is not to stay in real estate forever. It should not be the goal. That is the wrong goal. The goal is to make so much money you get out. The goal is to create leverage so you don't have to do this forever. That's the goal. And if you're really like, 
No way, no. I'm an I'm going to be an agent forever. Really? Is that what you really want? Or are you just like uncomfortable with the idea of like something greater? Because if that's the issue, then you need you need to like you need to do some digging into yourself and ask yourself, is this what I truly want or am I just scared? Scared that something greater might not be possible. I promise you if you dig far if you dig far enough, like you want something greater in life. You want you want to fulfill a higher purpose. But the issue that I see here, and this explains why the, why the failure rate is so high in this industry. The issue in real estate is it takes an entrepreneurial line of thinking to know that you need to create leverage, to scale. To be able to step out of business requires an entrepreneurial level of thinking. And most people just aren't built that way. You need to like, most people are more wanting to just be integrated into a system. People will, people like regular people will just be like, oh, I'll just get my real estate license. Maybe I can make money. <clears throat> but they're used to being a worker. They're used to being an employee. So when they get their license, they're like, oh no, what do I do? They have no idea how to lead generate and they have no idea how to increase their conversion rate. So they're not making any money. They're not used to creating a business. They are workers that just got a real estate license. So of course they're going to be struggling. Of course they're going to be like, what the fuck do I do? Of course they're going to be struggling with lead generation and conversion rate. Of course, because they're workers. They're not entrepreneurs. They're not business builders. That's why 90% of agents don't renew their license. It's because they're not built for this. Now, some workers will understand, okay, if, well, if I lead generate enough and then convert enough, then I'll make money. Great. But they will never create leverage and scale to get out. They'll just either stay an agent forever or eventually quit for, for something else, for something that pays better, which then just puts them back in the worker position. They're no longer an entrepreneur. They're just, they're, they're no longer a business builder. They're just a worker again. Guys, you need to create leverage and scale. You, it just, it can't just be you knocking on doors. It can't just be you cold calling. It can't just be you asking for referrals. It can't just be you doing open houses. You need to create a team of either agents or ISAs from the Philippines that you pay $6 an hour, or it needs to be you creating a brokerage, or it needs to be you creating a revenue share downline, you need leverage. You need others to work for you. You need others to work for you, or you're going to be in this forever. And if it's just going to be you, then you better make sure that you are lead generating extremely hard and your conversion rate is so high. And to do this, join my accelerator, join the conversion accelerator. It's in the link below. Yeah. It's the first link in the description below. Join my accelerator. I'll teach you how to get that conversion rate way up. And if you don't believe me, watch that video of me setting five appointments in one hour on YouTube. I did that on Instagram live with 12 agents on my Zoom. I did that live in front of everyone setting appointment after appointment after appointment. If they picked up, I set the appointment. Are you really trying to do this forever? Do you really want to freaking lead generate all day and follow up and cold call and door knock and open house? And are you really trying to do this forever or are you trying to get out? I'm trying to go for freedom. You know, if shit hit the fan, I could fly to Thailand and just retire. I can. If shit hit the fan, I could just go to Mexico and just retire. I've created leverage. I've created, I've scaled. Now the goal is to create enough leverage and scale so I can retire here, which I'm not at that point yet, but I'm capable of it because I could create excess. All right. I'm not like just doing enough to stay an agent forever. I'm creating excess so I can get the fuck out. <clears throat> Freedom is the ultimate goal. It's probably one of the reasons you got your license. It's probably one of the goals that you have out of being a real estate agent. If I were to ask you, what are you trying to build for yourself in this business? It's probably financial freedom. I've heard it 500 times. I've interviewed 500 of you. It, there you go. Freedom, financial freedom. Ask yourself, what are you trying to build in this business? It's probably freedom. 
It's a form of freedom, financial freedom, freedom to be with your family, time freedom. You can only do that when you have created leverage, scaled, or have excess.